cold-blooded humans aren't usually a target for cold-blooded sea lampreys. But these vampires aren't too fussy about where they get their blood. Andy Fisher was only seven years old when he started to swim competitively. Swimming is his passion. In fact, he went on to become the national champion in his home country, Venezuela. About four years ago, I started to, to swim in open water uh, competitions. You never knew what the water conditions were going to be like and what other dangers might turn up. Andy loved the mixture of challenge and adventure. So when he moved to the States, the first thing he did was look up open water swims on the internet. a charity swim eight miles across Lake Champlain from New York to Vermont. Andy had never swum this far so he would have to do lots of training. And he was a little concerned about the cold water. What might be lurking beneath the surface of the lake never even crossed his mind. The big day finally arrived. 22 swimmers gathered at the side of the lake to stretch and warm up. Andy was concerned about the distance, but more worried about the water temperature. Only a few degrees above freezing. Oops. But he and the other swimmers were well prepared, and it was time to take the plunge. When you're swimming in water this cold, your body temperature drops quickly, especially your skin temperature. Everything was going well, though. Until two hours into the race, the swimmers hit the four-mile mark, and they realized they had company. I felt something on my leg, and I turned around, and I saw this big snake this size attached to my, to my leg. The sea lampreys were after a blood meal. All five victims managed to struggle free from the vampire's jaws. Andy and the other swimmers continued on across the lake. They were all glad to safely reach the far shore. Their bodies sustained bruises and scratches from the lamprey's powerful jaws. The sea lampreys were introduced by accident. They don't really belong here. Uh, there are millions of them, and they, they try to get a blood meal any way they can, so they'll latch onto most anything. Uh, the fish that are in the lakes are their main target. That's where they get their food, but anything that's, that's there is fair game for them to try to get blood from. Uh, the people that are scratched by them can get secondary bacterial infections uh, if any skin is broken, but usually they're not life-threatening type problems for people. With these water-loving leeches and lampreys, would you be safe if you stayed well away from water? 